morning and thank God for another day we have to share in this time of devotion. So glad that you've joined me again this morning. Trust that you're doing well after good night rest. And even if you are challenged, the God we serve is faithful and we want to trust him every step of the way, every day, every moment. God is faithful to us. We're going to talk today about Moses' final instructions, final blessings on the children of Israel. And we find that in Deuteronomy chapter 33, verses 26 and 27. And here we find Moses calling the children of Israel Jeshurun, which means upright, a symbolic name for Israel. And even though the nation of Israel was challenged, it did not change God's view of his people. For he has the power to bring to pass what he has declared. And as believers, that is what God calls us today, upright. We may be bust up, down and almost count out, we may be messed up and at times we want to give up but God still calls us upright Jeshua and so we must hear the word of the Lord today and respond to what God has called us to be and no matter what the case is what the situation is if we respond to God, He will do what only He can do. Deuteronomy 33, 26 reads, There is none like God, O Jeshua, who rides through the heavens to your help, through the skies in His majesty. The eternal God is your dwelling place and underneath are the everlasting arm. And he thrust out the enemies before you and said, destroy the word of God to the people of God. God rides above. Our God, Elohim, Jehovah, he rides above the enemy. There's no strategy that the enemy can hold against God. Cannot figure him out. There was a time he was in the grave for three days and the enemy thought it was over. But on the third day he rose and destroyed both death, hell, and the grave. He still rides above the enemy. And he is in control. He calls us who we are. We must believe. The eternal God, he cannot die, will not die. All the other gods are idols, but our God is eternal. We must declare that today. We must believe that today. And as a result, we will be the upright, the Jeshurun that God has called us to be, and that without remedy. Father, thank you for your word. We believe and we declare today who we are according to your word. Despite the challenges that we face, this unseen enemy, the challenge in our economy, in our finances, there is no challenge in God. There's no challenge in your money, in your power. You are still the, the true and the everlasting God. You are eternal. And underneath are the everlasting arms. Everything we need, you have already supplied. And we give you thanks that we will believe today. We will trust you today. Thank you for your power to forgive us, to cleanse us, to wash us as we confess. We pray for those who lead the nations, including our prime minister and all of parliament touch. We pray even now for those who lead in the medical profession. 
those who lead in law enforcement, yes, those who lead in service industry. We bless the people of God today. And those who are not named by your name, may we shine so bright today to cause them to see the light of God. Touch now those who lead in the ministry, in the body of Christ. We pray a blessing. Thank you for the families everywhere. We pray for peace in Jerusalem. And let your name be exalted even now in our living today. We ask this in Jesus' name and for our sake. Amen. God bless you. Let's know that our eternal God is our dwelling place. He is our refuge. And whatever we need, He's already supplied. Let's live upright today. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord.